Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about covered call option and uh, again we have Mike and Mary. Uh, both are uh, bullish for the market and they think market will go up and Mike currently hold uh, Google and uh, he thinks that uh, Google should go up and the price for Google is $1000. And uh, we have Mary, uh, she uh, also wants to get into the Google. Uh, but uh, she she is not uh, she don't have a lot of funds so she is uh, limited on uh, on funds so how uh, she should get into it so she's thinking i should buy a call option so uh, so mike uh, if you look at uh, him he thinks that the market maybe should go to uh, 1100 dollars and if it goes to 1100 dollars he can sell google you don't think it's gonna go more than eleven hundred dollars but if you look at mary she thinks that it may go to thirteen hundred dollars right so in this case uh mike is also worried what if the stock goes down right and uh, uh, he wants a little bit of downward protection and he also wants to maximize his returns so he thinks uh, of making an agreement with uh, mary so he thinks that stock will go to $1100 so if it goes to $1100 he wants to sell but Mary she is ready to buy here so if she buys she can make money if it goes to $1300 that's her uh, target price right so what they can do is they can enter an agreement so Mary will say let me pay you $50 and Michael say, okay, I'll take $50. And in return, I will sell this to you. So I'll sell the stock at 1100 and you can buy the stock at 1100 from me, irrespective of whatever the price is, right? So they entered a call option. So they entered a call. So this, this is uh, what you call call option. And uh, so here, uh, Mary is buying so she is buying and and mike is selling so mary is buying the call option and she is um uh, uh, mike is uh, selling the call option and mary is buying the call option so now how will this uh, make a difference right so again if you look at uh, 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 profit charts so suppose if google is at one thousand dollars after one year so this is uh, after one sorry. so after one year so if we look at uh, Google suppose if it's one thousand dollars so in this case because Mary already paid fifty dollars so she has a loss and Mike uh, he got paid fifty dollars so he made a profit of fifty dollars uh, so so he was uh, he was that was a good decision for him to sell the uh, call option uh, if stock goes to 950 then in that case uh, Mike has a profit of zero dollars because he lost fifty dollars but he had fifty dollars from Mary, so that's why his total profit is zero. So he protected himself uh, against the downside a little bit, right? But Mary again has a loss of fifty dollars. So if she would have bought the Google for thousand, then she would, she would have the loss of fifty dollars anyways, right? So she is still good. But if the stock goes to maybe nine hundred dollars, in this case, Mike will go to minus 50 however uh, Mary will still still remain to minus so she is protected against it and now if we talk about higher prices so suppose if it goes to 1100 in this case Mike made hundred dollars plus fifty dollars paid by Mary so he made 150 dollars so this is a positive however if you look at uh, Mary she paid fifty dollars and uh, 
but the stock is already just $1100 so she didn't make anything from the call option so she's again at the loss of $50 and now if we go to $1200 then Mary will have a profit because she could buy the stock at $1100 and uh, that way she has a $100 profit but she paid $50 as a fee so that's why she, she got $50 as a total profit and in this case Mike will still have 150 so irrespective of wherever the stock goes higher Mike will always be making 150 no, not anymore however Mary will start to kick in and she'll make more profit so if it goes to 1300 she will have a profit of 150 right so what uh, about the chart so let's look at the chart for Mike so if we look at the chart so this is a profit and this is a stock price and uh, when you just have a stock so when Mike just had a stock uh, his profit will look like a straight line so this is one thousand dollars and uh, when stock goes up he makes money doesn't go up he doesn't make money right now what happened is that he sold a call so when he sold a call he made a 50 sitting on the thousand so he immediately made a profit so he's he will start here so this will be equal to 50 so he already started with 50 right and then if the stock goes up he'll go higher how much higher he can go only 100 more because he agreed to sell the stock at 1100 right so this will be 100 more so this will be 150 so at 150 he will reach a plateau so so he cannot go any up any more up so this is how the stock will look like but if the stock goes down he will lose money uh, but he he will be even at 950 so this will be equal to uh, 50 dollars so he will be even at 950 and then he will start losing money and then he can lose until it goes to zero so he will have a potential to lose a total money of uh, 950 so he can lose 950 dollar total but if you look at the gain side he can gain a total of uh, 150 no and not anymore and uh, if you look at Mary uh, she already started with minus 50 because she paid 50 to get into the market so at 1000 she will be starting at minus 50 and then if the stock goes up she'll make money uh, and she has an unlimited profit chart but her maximum loss is limited to $50 and she'll start to make money when it goes to 11 50 and this will be 1100 and uh, this will be zero so this is how the Mary will look like so this is Mary this is Mike so if you uh, sell a covered call um, you increase your profit However, you cap your profits and still exposed to uh, downside. But here if you buy call, uh, un limited profit potential and uh, what else yeah uh, limited loss right and uh, you don't need a lot of funds so uh, 
मिनिमम इन्वेस्टमेंट सो दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक एंड वन अनदर थिंग टू रिमेंबर इन द कवर कॉल ऑप्शन इज दैट वी टॉक्ट अबाउट माइक सो ही हैड मार्केट एट वन थाउजेंड एंड वी टॉक्ट अबाउट हिम गोइंग टू इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेल गेट अ फीस ऑफ फिफ्टी डॉलर्स राइट सो दिस इज द कॉल प्राइस एंड दिस इज द स्टॉक प्राइस द मार्केट कैन ऑल्सो गो टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड ही ही मे थिंक दैट ओ आई शुड आई शुड सेल अ कवर कॉल फॉर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड डॉलर्स बट इन दिस केस ही विल नॉट बी गेटिंग फिफ्टी डॉलर्स ही मे बी गेटिंग फिफ्टीन डॉलर्स एंड इफ इट गोज टू थर्टीन हंड्रेड डॉलर्स देन ही मे बी गेटिंग ओनली लाइक टू डॉलर्स राइट सो हिज प्रॉफिट विल कीप डिक्रीजिंग द मोर ही थिंक्स द मार्केट will go up or the more the farther he choose the strike price uh, another case could be that he can also choose a strike price for lower than $1000 so suppose if uh, we are at $1000 and uh, he choose a st- strike price of 900 so we know that it's the stock is already at 1000 right so in this case the cover call may be is of it so the call option for this could be at 180 dollars and uh, this could be maybe 100 dollars and this uh, we already talked about this so this is uh, maybe a 50 dollars so this is a uh, call and this is the stock price so even he can sell a call at 900 so if he sells a call at 900 for 180 dollars his maximum profit in this case will be equal to 80 dollars but he minimized his losses so now he will has a, he will have a loss uh, because he he has a 1000 dollar invested but he already took 180 dollars out uh, as a fees so that will be equal to uh 820 dollars so his maximum loss so this is the max loss will be equal to 820 dollars so his break even point so break even point so break even point is where he goes to zero so break even point will be equal to 820 so at One thousand dollar. If he sells a call for nine hundred dollars, then at the strike price of nine hundred dollars, then he is uh, he will not have a loss until the market goes to eight twenty. But if the market goes to suppose nine hundred, then he will lose hundred dollars. So, but he already has one eighty dollars. so that will give him a profit of 80 dollars so you can also sell a covered call at a strike price which is lower than the current uh stock price and that will give you more downside protection so i hope this video helped